Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Well, my dear viewers, today we're going to discuss how to release emails from the PVO quarantine using REST API and Python, how to delete emails from the PVO quarantine using REST API and Python. So the two main focus areas are going to be releasing the emails and deleting the emails using a Python script using REST API. And we're not just going to stop there. We're going to jump to the GUI of the ESA and try to do the same from there. Well, after that, we're going to check the logs. We're going to see what do we find in the logs when we release the emails and when we delete the emails. And apart from that, the other agenda of this video is that you start with liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Well, let's jump right into it. Well, this is the script I was talking about. Well, it's almost similar to the script we used in the last video. Okay, let's check it out. Importing requests, importing JSON, pprint, optional, uh, get pass, uh, optional, base64, optional, time, optional. Okay, a lot of uh, the optional stuff that actually makes this program look nice. So you should try to import these. Apart from that, we set up the URL. This is going to be the base URL. So I'm not asking for the IP. Uh, I'm not asking for the IP address of the ESA from the user, well, you can uh, make that dynamic as well. In this case, I've done it statically. Okay, anyways, mid count, I'm trying to get the limit from the user to understand how many emails does the user want to release or delete from the quarantine. Okay, the next function is fetching the MIDs itself. So, you know, for example, there are, there's MID number 5236, the other one 5243, 5299, and whatever. And you're going to fetch all those MIDs from there so you can work on them. So this function actually does that. Now, after that, we're going to fetch the quarantine name to understand from which PVO quarantine do you, do you want to actually uh, release the emails or delete the emails. That's what this function does. Okay, and then coming to the major difference between the release and the delete. When we talk about release, the payload for release contains this one extra line, which says action is release. Okay, apart from that, we have mids to which we assign the mids that we were able to fetch from the user right there, and the quarantine name from which we want to release or, uh, well, in this case, release the emails, and then the quarantine type is going to be PVO. When it comes to delete, you'll find that we don't have that action part in here. We don't have the action. I'll tell you why. Well, you'll understand later in the video when I show you the complete script. Okay, so this contains three parts. This contains four parts. The rest of the three are exactly the same. So it's the same as we discussed above. Okay, then fetching the username and the password. So we're going to ask the user in this case for the username and the password. Okay, after that. We're going to set the headers so that the username and the password that we got from there, so we'll just pass it into the headers and the cookie. We've discussed it in the previous videos. You can check those out. Okay, the conversion is important. So basically, you're going to convert it to base64 format uh, right here, the basic authentication. Okay, well, this is something, this is how you do it. You can. I'll just put it uh, down in the description. I'll put the whole script there. So you can just copy paste this stuff. Okay, after that, coming to the execution of the release and the delete. This is where the major uh, major action happens, okay? Now, executing the release, the difference, the major difference is post. We're doing a post call here and we're doing a delete call in the delete, okay? That's why we don't see the action there. Okay, because delete is one of the options that are available for your requests. Right, you have get, uh, post, put, and then you have delete as well, and that's why we don't have the action above that we checked in the function. So we have delete right here. Okay, so that's that, and we have the URL and the other parts that are exactly the same, and uh, there's no difference in here as well. So I don't want to make uh, any changes. I did not make any changes because I'm doing a couple of checks here to make sure if the user uh, didn't uh, did not uh, enter any MID or the limit was incorrect, then uh, you know this actually takes care of that. Anyways, well, the rest of the program is just 
you know, the same, uh, same as we discussed in the last video. Anyways, let's uh, jump into the output. Let's see, once we run this program, what do we see? Let's go ahead. Okay, just made a couple of adjustments to the window. Let's go ahead. Okay, now, okay, let me just run the program again. F5. Brock Lesnar, how many MIDs do you want to release? I just want to release one. Let's go with one. Okay, which one? I know it's 846. The PBO quarantine name. Well, I know it's in the policy quarantine. I quarantined that manually, obviously. Okay. That's going to be me. Iron port. That's my password. Ah. Okay. Well, uh, well, you know about it, right? We've discussed it in the previous videos. If we're using get pass, it doesn't really work in uh, your idle. It still gets echoed. So that's why in the previous videos, you would have seen that, that I've used CMD in place of idle. So this is the problem with idle. Anyways, so I want to, or my goodness, release. Okay, let me hit enter. Man, it says total count one. So I was able to do it. Your request has been completed. Well, I'm going to show it to you when I uh, show you the logs. Okay, how about we try to delete now? Let me go here. F5. I'm not going to say Brock Lesnar. Okay, so how many MIDs? I want to do it for two this time. So the MID is going to be. 845. Okay, let's let's do um 848. 848. And let's do 849. Okay, I know it's in the policy. Okay. And you already know my password. I'm going to hit enter. Okay, what do you want to do? I want to delete. Ah, there you go. Total count 2. Well, you would have seen total count two here as well if you went with two MIDs, for example. Now, in this case, I've done two for delete, one for this, so I just wanted to show you a little different stuff this time. Anyways, I guess this should be good with this. Uh, this should be uh, some good stuff with the script. Now, how about we hop into the GUI of the ESA and check it out there? But before that, no, I, I guess we got to change uh, change it a little bit. We'll check the logs first, and then we'll go to the GUI and do it there and then possibly check out the logs again. Anyways, let's proceed. Okay, so this is what we see in the logs. What do we have here? Release that we did for one MID 846, and then we did the delete for two MIDs 848 and 849. And this is where I've actually quarantined all these emails to so check it out. So this is actually running live right now. So I just want to quarantine a couple more emails. Let me send it across. So I'm grabbing only this part of information. So I won't see all those logs in the, of the mail logs, like everything from the connection to all the filters and everything. So I'll just check this one line. There you go. I just uh, sent two more emails. Let me send one more. And this is it. I'm going to use these MIDs possibly in this video or later after that. Anyways, let's jump to the ESA GUI. Okay, so from the ESA GUI, we go to monitor and then we scroll down and we go to policy, virus, and outbreak quarantines. We click on it and this is the page we're going to land on. Okay, now. If we click on the name of the quarantine, we'll uh, get into the window where we'll uh, have the configuration options for this quarantine. Now, we, do, we don't want to do that. We actually want to release and delete emails. So we'll click on this number right here under messages. We'll click on this number. And once we click on it, we see all this stuff in here. Wow. Okay, I just quarantined all these messages right now. Okay, anyways. now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select a couple of these emails and I'm going to say release. So I confirm, go ahead and release these. Now I'm going to try to delete. Well, that's pretty much it. Literally, we have, we're done releasing the emails. 
Now I'm going to delete these many. Yes. Delete and click on confirm. And let's quickly check what do we see in the logs. You see, we got only these many emails left in the quarantine queue now. Sorry, not in the queue, the quarantine. Okay. Okay, so this is what we see in the logs. Okay, there's one more interesting thing that I would like uh, to take your focus towards. But before that, let me just go ahead and release one more email from the GUI. I'm going to do it right now so you can just see the logs populating. Let me just hit enter a few times. Now, when we check the logs, okay, sometimes... Uh, so, so there are two things, basically. There's the retention period and there's this manual thing that we're doing. The retention period is basically, it, it basically dictates for how long the email is going to stay in that quarantine as we sign the GUI. Let me show it to you again. Okay, back to the GUI. And now if I go back to the PVO and if I click on policy, this is the quarantine. Now there's this retention period. This means that you know the value you're given here means that it's going to retain this message. It's going to stay in that quarantine for this amount of time, 360 days. I just kept it. I don't know why, but whatever. So you can keep it in terms of minutes, hours, or days. And then after that, the default action, either you can delete or release. So this is the retention period. When an email is released after the retention period you will not see the entry say manual in the logs let me show it to you as you see right here right you see it says manual if you do it from this script it's going to say manual if you do it from the gui obviously it's going to say manual again because it is a manual release it is a manual delete it did not get deleted or released after the retention period okay so that's something cool it helps in troubleshooting as well uh well okay the purpose of this video has been achieved we're able to understand how to release and delete emails from the pvo using the script and from the gui as well now the final thing that is that might be missing right now is you liking the video and subscribing to the channel now that's it for today thank you so much for watching the video. Goodbye.